Okay, so in this video, we're going to take a look at how to add lines of worst fit to an Excel graph. So you can see we've got a scatter graph with the points all with error bars, and we've got a line of best fit drawn. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add some lines, what we call worst fit, and that will allow us to estimate the uncertainty in our gradient. Uh, so the first thing I want to do is I'm actually going to create another table here of some X's and Y's. So we're going to draw two lines of worst fit. So for the X values, I'm just going to look at the X axis and use the values we've got there. Uh, so essentially, I'm going to go all the way up to 0 0.7. So let's go two more. And the fact that its precision is different is just annoying me. So let's change that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use a y equals mx plus c setup to create our y values. So we can, from the graph, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a the gradient of the line and the y intercept the line. So in order to do that, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get it to tell me what the gradient of the actual graph is. So I right clicked on my trend line, you go format trend line, and you can get it to tell you the equation. So I'm going to put in 0 0.48 and a line set of 0 0.015. So we're pretty close to the values of our graph. And it's these values that we're actually going to change um, in order to draw our line of best fit. Sorry, worst fit. Okay, so in here, I'm going to use the M value, and I want to use the same M value every time. So I'm going to put dollar signs around it. We need to multiply that by an at the X. We need to add that to the C value. And again, we want this value to stay the same the whole time. Uh, when I paste this formula to other ones, so I put the dollar signs in. And then I can drag that to all the other ones. So you can see by using the dollar signs, it stayed as E13 and F13 every single time. And this is going to the data we're going to use to plot one of our lines of worst fit. OK, so now how do we add this line to our graph? Well, we right click on the graph, go to select data, and we're going to add a new set of data. So the X values, we're going to use these ones. And the Y values, we're going to use these ones, which we're generating. OK, so that set of data is now on our graph. So uh, I'm going to add a trend line to this. Uh, it's a straight line. And we're going to make sure it's not dashed or any of that other nonsense. Uh, let's make it thick. OK, and then I'm going to go to my actual data series and I'm going to turn the markers off because we don't need the actual markers there. So you can see I've got a line drawn on here, which is actually currently the same or well, pretty much the same as the line of best fit. So what I'm going to do is this is where a bit of trial and error comes in. So I'm going to change this value here. So you can see I've now gone too steep because it's gone out of the error bar at the top. Uh, OK, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shift it down a little bit because then I think I can make my line even steeper. So what I'm trying to do here is draw the steepest possible line that goes through all of the, oh, that goes through all of the points. So you can see here that um, this line here is going through the, almost at the bottom of the uh, one on the left and it's going straight through the top. Uh, so I reckon I can make that fractionally steeper and shift it down a little bit more. So this really is a trial and error thing. Uh, so I reckon I can make that a little bit steeper. So we want to try and draw the steepest possible line. Uh, I need to shift it up a little bit. And as you can see, I am really just playing with this. It, there is no exact science to it. OK, I reckon that's pretty good. So what we've got is the steepest possible line uh, that goes through. Well, we can see here, actually, it's not quite going through this error bar in here. So I'm going to shift it up a little bit more. OK, 
okay, and I'm going to need to actually drop its depth there. So I reckon that is the steepest possible line of best fit we can draw, because you can see it's now going through all of the error bars, uh, but it's as steep as I can possibly draw. Okay, <clears throat> so what we can see here is the upper limit to our gradient on this graph is this 0 0.6 value. So that's the steepest possible line of best fit. So what I'm actually going to do is I am going to copy all of that and create another set of data. And I'm going to repeat the process again. Uh, so we don't need that anymore. So let's chuck that. We're going to select the data. We're going to add another set of data to our graph. Those are our x values. It's really annoying that it sticks that in, but it does. Okay. So we've now added a third set of data to our graph. We need to add a trend line for this one. Uh, let's make it blue so we can easily see it. Again, I don't know why it's dashed by default, but it is. And let's do the same thing we did before. We're going to turn off the markers because we don't need to see where the points are. Okay, so now what we need to do, let's move our graph down so we can actually see it as we edit. So now, now what we're trying to do is draw the shallowest possible line on our graph. Oh, and the other thing I need to do is make sure it's actually editing these. So I need to be 23, not 13. And again, so let's change that. And it always annoys me when you change the formatting. Okay, so we can see if we shift that up. Ooh. Um, we can make it a bit shallower than that now. I think that was over a bit overzealous. I still think we can make that a little bit shallower. And we shift it up a little bit. Okay, so almost there. I think I'm going to need to make it a little steeper. And you can see here we've got now the line of what we call line of worst fit on there. So you can see here, what we found is that we've got a range of gradients now that actually fit our data set. Um, so what we can do is actually use that to estimate what our gradient uncertainty is. So uncertainty is the range of values. So this is the range of values divided by two. So you can see our gradient is going to be plus or minus 0.11. So using this technique, it is a little bit Heath Robinson. So it is a little bit of trial and error and figure it out. Um, but it's a lot easier than trying to do this uh, with a pencil, I think. Uh, so this is how we draw lines of worst fit and estimate the gradient uncertainty using a Excel spreadsheet.